hello friends uh, i'll be presenting a small recording where we would, where we have tried to compare the red glow supplemental stereo coaxial illumination system to that uh, of carl zeiss lumera i uh, i dr sumit kanduja and my teacher dr raju have got no financial disclosures or conflicts of interest to make uh, so this is the area of interest in this video this is the optical head of a very famous microscope carl zeiss lumera i and this is a microscope that has got a stereo coaxial illumination system now what is the stereo coaxial illumination system in a normal conventional microscope the illumination comes from the center and we observe from the sides of the the central beam now because the two things are not parallel they are at an angle the red glow is seen uh, in a dilated pupil for example while we are operating a cataract but not very bright what happens in a stereo coaxial illumination system is that the illumination and the observer arm are parallel to each other there are two uh, illumination arms and we get a beautiful red reflex and this red reflex can even be seen in hazy media and this is what makes this microscope the lumera i and the lumera t and other higher microscopes different from other microscopes uh, of the same company the low end microscopes and it makes them higher than their competitors so coming to the recording assembly what you see here is a camera mounted on the beam splitter on the left there is another camera on the right now you would be wondering why two cameras because at this point of time we were trying to juggle uh, with 3d recording systems while this idea came up and what we did was that we attached this red glow stereo coaxial illumination system now this illumination system will serve as the source of light and the microscope light will be switched off and then we juggled in between coming to the video now what we see is that this is uh, the illumination from the 3d medicis system we am doing the capsular excess i've been using this microscope since 2017 very happy with the glow and i was quite surprised with the quality of the medicis glow we switched off and shifted to the lumera i the glow is again beautiful now because of the camera settings you can see that become it looks more red we are doing hydro delineation and hydro delineation is a step when generally the glow disappears but that's not the feature with stereo coaxial systems so the glow it continues and then we switch again back to the medicis red glow the glow is seen even with the hydro delineation i proceeded on with the nucleotomy and as and as i proceeded the quality of the glow the color, uh, it became better and better so as you see we are eating away the nucleus the glow becomes better again we switched back to the lumera i lighting system with this cortical matter the glow is seen beautifully and it seems quite comparable when we shift back to the medicis red glow system so uh, we j i've just taken some photographs uh, this is from the time after capsular excess the left is with the medicis glow and the right is with the carl zeiss i feel that while i was operating on table both of them looked good uh, the glow although in the with the medicis it appears to be slightly orangish but i think it is because most of because of the recording settings that's the difference this is the time when most of the times the glow is not visible that is after hydro dissection but it is not the case with stereo coaxial illumination systems and the 3d medicis did as well as the good as the lumera i system and this was during the irrigation aspiration so with this you know brief uh, experience i feel that i felt that the red glow system was not not inferior to the stereo coaxial illumination system of lumera i 
and it is definitely worth considering and taking a demonstration uh, you know considering that lumera i is close to 45 lakhs in india and this red glow system is around 2.5 percent the price of lumera i uh, i thank uh, mr narendra bhola for uh, giving me his accessories to try on my uh, operating systems